Bernard, obviously, you know, we've seen you here at Barclays Center as as a boxer, as an ambassador, um, but, but being the ambassador of Brooklyn Boxing, um, this is a special fight come Saturday, and I wanted to hear your opinion on what this means for the borough of Brooklyn to have Pauli Malignaggi square off with Zab Duda. The Brooklyn brawl. I mean, this is basically a pick em fight. Both guys is at a crossroads of their career. Um, it just means so much, not only um, for boxing fans around the world, but for Brooklyn, for New York, because this has become a, a really a hotbed for boxing. The interesting thing, though, is it's not only bragging rights of saying, I'm the greatest boxer. It's the bragging rights of saying, I'm the greatest boxer in Brooklyn. That is, I mean, anybody know about the five boroughs. Uh, all five boroughs believe that they are the best. When two New Yorkers go up against each other, Zab, Jula, and Paul, they, uh, uh, it's nothing but fireworks and, and, and sparks going because both guys have the same mentality. Just happening to be fighting here in Brooklyn. So, yeah, it's bragging rights. It's bragging rights uh, in, all, in all foes, it's bragging rights. Usually, Pauli Malignaggi is the type of boxer who, come press conferences, he's outspoken, but this time he's been a little bit more subdued. What do you think has changed in him? Very, very first of all, you're, you're absolutely right. He's very cons conservative, I could say, and, and subdued. Um, but I, I think that, you know, that's part of his strategy for his fight because they know each other. I mean, they're from Brooklyn. They come up together as far as knowing uh, who's who, and uh, they've been on cars together fighting other people. So it's a respect thing there also. But I believe that we shouldn't hold our breath to think that Paulie's going to be, you know, that subdued guy all the way up to Saturday night. And of course, we have to talk about Zab. Um, you know, he's got a lot on the line in the sense that he wants to, he wants to come back here and prove that this is his borough, his building. How do you think that he's going to uh, walk into this fight mentally? This very important to Zab Judah, I believe, from a fighter standpoint, because he understands that, you know, you lose one, Close fight, fine. You lose the second one, close or just been playing out beaten. Uh, that's not a. That, that's really climbing the hill even further to get to the top again. And look, he's not in his 20s. He's not in his early 30s. He's been around not as just as long as I've been, but he's been around long enough to know that this is basically, you know, uh, win or go home. Well, either way, it's going to be an incredible fight. I don't want to put you on the spot, but do you have a prediction for Saturday? I, I have a prediction that. Um, it will come down to the last couple of rounds and who won it the most. Both fighters is in the same predicament that the other ones is in, which means that it win, lose, uh, I mean win, uh, go forward, lose, take 10 steps back, not one. Uh, I look at this fight as a 50-50 fight. Um, whoever had the best strategy, I don't want to sound like too much like an ordinary politician, but I think that uh, um, it, will, it will come down to a narrow uh, decision, Paulie maybe by decision and he throws a lot of punches. I won't be surprised if it's, even if it's a, a closer fight than that, maybe a draw, that would be a long shot. But um, I, I think the Paulie hand speed and the punches he throw and the boxing IQ he has, he can do a little bit more of that than Zab. But I won't be surprised. I mean, if Zab wins the same way. So this fight is really narrowed down to that situation, that scenario. Well, it's going to be incredible. We can't wait. Thank you for chatting with us. Thank You're you the best, Bernard. Thank you.